Mm. Okay, good day everyone. Thank you. Thank you for 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 watching this video. If you like the content, please subscribe or or like or share. Um uh, I I bought the sublimation uh, equipment just for printing for my clients. If I have a shoot, I would print a um, cup or a mug or I'll print a mug um uh, and give them on the day or as, as a sort of uh, appreciation and after service for the client. So after I bought the equipment, there's so many things that I've learned from this thing and I felt like it's, this is a good opportunity to share. So I'm going to be sharing that and it's five things. Number one is um, the ink that comes with your printer, of which in my case is the Epson L, L, L121. The ink that comes with that printer is not a sublimation ink. When you get your printer, you need to make sure that you get the sublimation ink because I thought maybe I should just share before anyone makes the same mistake. Number two, make sure the paper that you're using, it's printing on the right side and it's a special paper. In my case, I've got a special sublimation paper, which on the other side is pink, the other side is, um, is, 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 is white. I've noticed that when I print on the uh, pink side, um, the colors come out saturated. When I print on the, on, the, on the white side, the color comes out rich and glossy and, and, and nice. So that's another thing that I've learned. The other thing that I've learned is when you print, um, Usually when we print, we just leave it because if you're printing on the paper, you're printing it to view on the paper. But if you want to uh, print it on the cup, it must, you must flip it horizontally so that when it goes to the cup, that's when it's going to be uh, upside down and it will be readable. That's the other mistake that I've made so far. And uh, usually my prints used to be unreadable. I was wondering what, what, that, what that is. I had to learn that. Uh, I had to figure it out myself. You might print the picture facing up and then after that when you paste it on the cup you flip the picture facing down and when you go to the presser when you take out your cup the, the, the your prints will be facing upside down it's one of those things that i've also learned the hard way i've got few prints i've got few cups that are like that number five make sure you export your images as high res because that is also very important high resolution because you will want all the details that are in the in the images as much detail as possible thank you